Hello beautiful friends, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be introducing a brand new project pan. This is a project of my own creation, although I am basing it off of a very popular TV show, which is obviously not my creation. <laughs> so this is going to be the Doctor Who Season 1 project pan. Um, this project is going to be based off of the first season of the reboot of Doctor Who. So starting with Doctor Nine, if you're a fan. Uh, if you're not a fan, this is a great project to jump on if you want to start watching the show for the first time. Um, we're going to be going season by season, starting with season one, and uh, it's going to be super fun. So here is the details of the project, and I would love for you to join me if you'd like. So for season one, there are going to be nine products um, for the ninth doctor. <laughs> and um, these are the prompts for them. So the very first prompt is TARDIS. And this can be a product that is blue or looks like a box. So for my TARDIS project, I have chosen this, which is blue. It is the Polish Choice Clear Blue Skin Cleansing Treatment. It is a blemish treatment from Polish Choice. Um, I love this treatment, but it is getting old and I need to finish it up before it loses all of its good power and full ingredients. So there's that. The second prompt is run. And this is a product that you will finish quickly. For mine, I have chosen the Kalos After Hours Soothing Night Cream. It's just this little deluxe sample. This is actually brand new to me. I have not used it yet. So it is full, but I know I will use it pretty quickly. So I am working on a different night cream, but I am almost done with it. So as soon as that one is done, I will start working on this and I'm sure that I will finish it up pretty quickly. The third prompt is Rose Tyler, and this is a product that is rose, has rose in it, or is pink. And I have chosen my organic cold press rose hip oil from The Ordinary. And I am right there, so I've marked it. And this is actually a relatively new product to me. I've been using it for about a month. Um, but I have heard that these go bad quickly, so I want to really prioritize this and make sure that I get through it and get my money's worth out of it. The fourth prompt is end of the world, and this is a finishing product. For this, I have chosen the Blue Marble Sealer Setting Spray. This is a water-based setting spray, so it does not have alcohol in it if you're looking for an alcohol-free setting spray. I highly recommend this one. I love this. Um, this is quite an old bottle of this, so I really would love to get through it. This is my only setting spray right now, so, um, so I think I can do it pretty quickly, and I am right there. The fifth prompt is Bad Wolf, and this is a product that saves the day. For this, I have chosen a green color corrector out of my Graftobian, my Graftobian Global Corrector Super Palette. I have actually depotted it just to make it easy. So this is where it was, and I have repurposed this little container, and I have put the color corrector inside of there. So that is where that is at. And I put the entire thing in here, so we will see. It's a lot of product, so we'll see how long that takes me. Um, okay, number six, prompt six is Moisturize Me, and this is a hydrating product. And for this, I have chosen a bottle of body lotion. This is the Baby Ganics Moisturizing Daily Lotion. This is a baby lotion, but, um, I, we've, my daughter has had this bottle for a long time and um, it has not gotten used very often. So I decided to take it from her and finish it up on myself because I will go through it quicker and I'm going to buy her 
a new different bottle. So um, that is my starting mark. Prompt number seven is Dalek, and this is a product you are at war with. And I have chosen a brow product because I have so many brow products and I am just trying my hardest to get through them. They take me forever. Um, and so I am going to choose the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the color, what color are you? In the color Espresso. And there's not really a way to check progress on this, but I just finished another tube of this and it was pretty clear when it started to go off. So I don't think I have that much longer with this product. Um, it is quite old and my other one, which I got at the same time, just went bad. Um, so I'm hoping that I can just get, you know, get a couple months of use out of this and get some good use out of this before it goes bad as well. So there is that one. And the next one, prompt eight, is Paradox, and this is a product from the past. And for this, I have chosen my Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Oil Reducing Cleanser, and I have a huge bottle of it, but it's actually almost gone. Um, I have flipped it upside down, and that is where I'm at. So I really only have a little bit left. This is a, this is quite an old cleanser in my collection. I love this cleanser, um, but it it's a huge bottle and so it actually took me a really, really long time to go through it and then I, take a, I took a break from it to pan a bunch of other cleansers, so I'm coming back to it and I'm hoping that I can finish it because I feel like this is also starting to go off a little bit. So I'm going to finish this up and that is my Paradox product. And the ninth and final prompt for this project is The Empty Child, and that is a product that transforms your face. And for this, I have chosen a contour shade, a cream contour out of my RCMA VK11 palette. And again, I have depotted this. So this is where it used to be. It is gone out of there, and I have moved it into an empty container and there it is um, this one scares me because if you've ever used an RCMA foundation a little bit goes a very very long way you don't need very much product to get really good pigment and coverage so this is a ton of product it is it's technically a foundation shade but um, but on me, it's a contour shade. So these, um, yeah, these little pots, they don't look like there's very much product in them, but they have a, so much product. I have done, I have done so many faces with this little one right there and it seemed to have hardly made a dent in it. So, um, yeah, so I'm a little bit nervous about that one, but I'm looking forward to getting some use out of it. I'm looking forward to really digging in and starting to finish some of the shades in my big pro palettes um and i am really excited about this project i think it's going to be super fun i would love for you to join me if you are a fan or if you would like to start being a fan or if you just think that this sounds like fun and you'd like to join along um, you can join here on youtube or you can join over on instagram i will be sharing progress in both places um, this project is going to run until the end of november so um, last day in November, we will, uh, we will end the project and um, see how many of these products we can get through. So uh, thank you so much for joining me and for coming to my little corner of the internet and spending some time with me today. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.